was talking to this little girl, and her beauty was magnificent. Her Kokoya colored eyes were excellent. Her hair was carrying generational history to its very ends. Her skin mimicked the dirt God made Adam in. Her smile lit up the room, oh, it was radiant. Even her scars were incredible stories that she would never be. But somehow, she was blinded. Cause the world saw her as a misfit. And she spoke and told me she believed it. She said her eyes were unleveled, unsymmetrical. Her nose was too big, undesirable. Her acne was a distraction, pimple after pimple. People told her jokes like, connect the dots. If that's simple, she hated her hair. She thought it was dreadful. It wasn't long, so she didn't think it was beautiful. She was never comfortable, not even in her own skin. She complained about her stretch marks. Woe to whoever told her it would hinder her from a man. She thought her smile was crooked, imperfect. She hated it, so she hid it. Like the servant God gave the gift but buried it, trying to keep it sacred, but he should have shared it. She disliked her shape. It brought the wrong attention. How shameful to tell a little girl her silhouette is disturbing. Really covered up and yet you're still complaining. We could go there, but let's save that for another presentation. I told her. She was wrong. They were ignorant. When God created you, it was on purpose with purpose, not by accident. The same God that created the earth. Hey! The same God that decided to make mankind in his image and in his likeness is the same God that looked at you and said, you are worth it. Since, since you are an extraordinary girl because of an extraordinary God, since you are her because of him, a daughter of royalty that he defends, Proverbs 14, 7, stay away from fools where you will not find knowledge on their lips. They talk but never spit, they dress but never drip, yet they tell you to act different. So what a was not only public but personal. Look at each individual in this room. That's what he did it for. Each whip was a heartbeat he was willing to die for. Each hit was a kid that needed a heavenly father. Each nail was a generation that needed a savior. This little girl had spent all her life clueless, not knowing she didn't have to be perfect, not knowing she could come to Christ with her sin, not knowing that it was relation instead of religion, not knowing that her pain had purpose, not knowing that Christ created her so elegant. She finally asked me, how do I accept him? Can I trust him? How do I know that it will be better living for him? I told her, you don't. It probably will be harder. But I told her she won't be in darkness. I told her she would become a trooper stronger than ever before. A troll based walking through fields that have never been explored. The chosen one breaking generational curses, knocking down doors by doors. Being a warrior, not a warrior. I said being a warrior, not a warrior. A soldier carrying her sword. An evangelist spreading the gospel to the world. She finally accepted it. So she took a risk. Yeah. A leap of faith that no one in her family ever did. She left the life of being nutritious. Woo! Then she spoke to me again. Then that's when I realized how was it talking to a little girl, but the reflection of a woman of God. Hey!